Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is April 28, 2022, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is In All Circumstances. Scripture is from Psalm chapter 29, verses 1 through 11. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of His name. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. The voice of the Lord is over waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a uh, cup and soloing like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth frames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord causes the ox to whirl. To streets, the forest bear, and in his temple all say glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Amen. Another scripture is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Amen. Today's story is from Henley, Arkansas, uh, who lives in Arkansas. Spending the night with my 90-year-old, uh, 92-year-old dad in his hospital room was a hectic experience. Between temperature checks, blood pressure checks, the noise of the ventilator tubes, medication alarms, and nurses talking blood samples, taking blood samples, I realized I would not get much sleep. That was diagnosed with congest congestive heart failure and fluid was building up around his lungs making it hard for him to breathe. As I watched him laying in bed, laboring to breathe in the early morning hours, I realized that I had forgotten my nighty prayers. I began to pray for my dad's uh, recovery. I praised God for dad's 92 years of life and for all the years I have had with him. Immediately, I felt a sense of calm in the midst of all the noise and activity. Sometimes, we get so caught up in the frantic activities of life that we forget to pray and praise God for what God has done in us and through us. When we find ourselves overwhelmed by the frenzy, we do well to recall Paul's words, pray without ceasing, give thanks in not for all circumstances. Yes. In many times, we say we are too busy to pray, so we don't have much time to pray. However, as Henry pointed, we should make time to communicate with God, to talk with God. And that is the way we can be. Prayer, the conversation with God, 
can save us, can save our lives as a better day, as a better moment. It makes us to follow God's will, to see God's desire and God's word. When we take the time, we can follow God and God's direction. When we take the time for God, we will walk with God, listening to God and talking to God. We are not alone. God is with us. And God wants us to walk with God. So when we take the time to communicate with God, we will see a lot of things. We will experience the wonders through that time. Little Fort Church family and friends, I hope you and I take the time, make the time for prayer to communicate with God who we love and who loves us so much. As we make the time for our family and friends because we love them and we'd like to help them, we'd like to communicate with them, let us make time, make time for God and our relationship with God. God is the one who gives us life. God is the one who gives us time. God is the one who gives us strength to do something. Without God, everything is placed in vain. So let us take the time. Take the time for God through prayer. You will get a lot of benefits because God will give you lots of blessings through the prayer, through the fellowship. You will have peace in your heart. You will have joy in your heart. You will have the direction of God in your lives. Everything will be better when we have the consultant from God. Church family and friends, don't forget, even though you are busy and your life is hectic, we should have fellowship with God every time, every moment, every day. So let's try and let's do and let's have the privilege rather than miss the chance. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, help us always to make time for you, no matter how noisy and hectic our, our days become. Thank you for the peace you give us when we spend time with you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and thank you. Bye-bye.